Yeah. I guess I'll, I'll think about one more thing on that topic. I'm thinking if there's a leader that is calm, then that would be a way to spread. If people are already looking up to someone mm -hmm. and they're calm, mm -hmm. I do think that that would have the ability to spread to the masses. Whereas if you're looking up to someone who's anxious or based in fear, yeah. then that will certainly spread. Yeah. I think that's a good opportunity to talk about our president. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in the first podcast already? I mean, you brought up a leader. A leader, yeah. That's not necessarily... And, and calm versus anxiety. That I did. Let's do a thought exercise. Okay. Let's imagine... Okay. That somebody is a Trump supporter. Should I close my eyes? You don't have to. Okay. And sure. they are being assuaged. They are being calmed by what the president is doing presently. Take me through that scenario. What, what would a person who is experiencing that feeling from the president, what, what would the thought process be to get there? Do you think that there are people that are feeling calmed by him right now? I think that there is an infinite number of emotions. And there must be some people that feel that they are calmed. I mean, I, can, I could go through this and, and come up with something, but let's hear what your thought is first, and then I'll try and present mine. Well, I think I could make something up. To be clear, I'm not an expert in this. I just listened to one person who was an expert explain an idea for about 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, so the prompt is a Trump supporter being calmed right now by Trump. Yes. By listening to him speak. Yes. Wow, it's such a tangled web the way that I would process that because my, and I'm certainly projecting in a way here, but I would assume this person, yes, okay, so this person likes our current leadership, president, mm -hmm. and looks up to him, listens to what he says, has been listening for four years to what he says. I want to say something now. I want to say that probably hasn't been listening to him before four years because he's outwardly said that he thinks that he could sway people because people are stupid. I think if you've heard that, you probably wouldn't be respecting him now, but I don't know. That's, that's a little too much. I'll back it up. If this person has been listening to him for four years, likes what he says, feels comforted, I think the comfort probably comes from having your fears validated. Because the way that I see Donald Trump is that he is self-conscious and not open to anything that, con that contradicts what he's saying and wants to be right all the time and has a lot of, we see it as bias, right? I think it's fear. Mm -hmm. I think he's very afraid of change and the unknown and uncertainty and looking foolish. So instead of trying to work out situations that might benefit people that aren't just like him or I don't know, making a plan that might fail, he just denies, he just denies the existence of those things that scare him. Mm -hmm. And so I guess in this moment in time when let's say the thing that's scaring him is the fact that there's this virus spreading all over the country, that's the thing that affects him. Not He doesn't necessarily care about the world at this moment. 
but there's a virus spreading all over the country. He is partially to blame just because he leads the country, because he is in that position of president right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure his fear level is at a max right now. People are dying because of this thing that he can't control. So instead of looking for some plans, putting some active plans in place and acknowledging that this is a really scary thing that's happening, I feel like he just kind of blows it aside and focuses on something that he does know about, uh, which is the economy and money. He likes money. He says he likes money. People think he likes money. Um, and so if I was a follower of his, I guess I'd feel calmed by him uh, completely just seeming to ignore what's going on, because then that would mean that I could also ignore. And this is this thing, this is another thing I was listening to. I hope I'm not rambling on too much, but when we're all so stressed out right now, whether we're really noticing it or not, and we're all experiencing either a fight or flight response. Mm -hmm. And I think he's experiencing the flight response. And I think maybe a lot of his followers are seeing him do that, unconsciously feeling calmed because they also want to experience that flight response. Mm -hmm. If that works for them, it's easier mm -hmm. to process this. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of opening up a an opportunity for them to not deal with what's really going on, to be in denial, and just, yeah, fly. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's a degree of denial that can actually represent calm as well? I don't know. So, uh, again, I am not a psychologist. I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel talking. like I need, we're just talking. I feel like there is an amount of denial that can represent calm, but I don't think it's real. I don't think it's true. Mm -hmm. So I think it's more like, it might be a process to get to the truth for some people, mm -hmm. or it might just be the deepest that some people can go in their own personal understanding. Mm -hmm. Is that a satisfactory answer? Yeah, I think so. For your thought project? Yes. Okay, would you like to give me your answer? Because sure. you said you had something on deck. I, I don't know if I have something on deck necessarily. I had the beginnings of uh, somebody coming on deck. Okay. Uh, his name is Duke. Duke. <laughs> somebody that would be comforted by a President Trump right now that would be his supporter would have to really resonate with the concept of power and mm -hmm. also relinquishing one's power for a greater power, I think. Mm -hmm. So, because I think his strategy so far has been to project strength and control of the situation. So I would have to be somebody that is willing to give up my questioning in order to have a, a leader tell me that things are going to be okay and also kind of be I think that there is a a degree of the economy being a rallying for people and having that be the focus to get back on track because that represents my ties to my country, which I have, um, you know, because my person is in power, I have uh, elevated levels of uh, desire for success. Mm. So that is the message that we're getting across current or that we are receiving currently, as far as I can tell, is to try and get things back to normal. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm being told that there are tests and I'm being told that things could have been a lot worse or things like that, 
I and I'm not thinking about it critically. I, f- I feel like I could potentially be calmed by it. Mm. If, you know, I'm, I'm also, I also have to be invested probably to an over large degree in this person's success. 